San Diego will host the California Dental Association CARES Volunteer Dental Program for the first time this weekend at the Del Mar Fairgrounds. The CDA allows volunteer dentists to provide services at no charge to over 2,000 patients. The CDA will have more than 100 chairs and provide everything from teeth cleaning to root canals. Dentists working the event will, be, will assess and prioritize patients' treatment needs on site. And it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Balboa Park December Nights is the largest free community festival in San Diego and takes place today from 3 to 11 and tomorrow from noon to 11 p.m. In the spirit of the holidays, participating Balboa Park museums open their doors free of charge on both evenings. Music and dance performances, delicious cultural cuisine, and holiday cheer are all part of this classic in San Diego celebration. And a public memorial is being held for Fast and Furious actor Paul Walker. Susanna Pajak is joining us now with more on entertainment news. Hey guys, that's right. Many are still in shock over his passing. A memorial is being held for Paul Walker and Roger Rojas this Sunday, December 8th. Over 5,000 people are expected to visit the memorial site to pay their respects as fans continue to grieve. Another was also put up at the Valencia crash site where many brought flowers and lit up candles in his memory. A preliminary report released by the Los Angeles County Office says the cause of Walker's death was the combined effects of traumatic and thermal injuries. Production on Fast and Furious 7 has been put on hold for now. Universal also announced a portion of the proceeds from the upcoming DVD, Blu-ray, and digital release of Fast and Furious 6 will be donated to Walker's charity Reach Out Worldwide. Walker died at the age of 40. The search for the leading female role for Wonder Woman for Batman vs. Superman has finally came to an end. Actress Gal Gadot, recently seen in Fast and the Furious 6, has landed the envied role. Numerous dark-haired actresses auditioned, but it was Gadot that had that magical quality perfect for the role. L.D. Young from G.I. Retaliation and Olga Kurlinko from Quantum of Solace also tried out for the part. Now, if you're looking for some fun and want to get in the holiday spirit, check out the events we have here locally. Kicking off this weekend is the annual Port of San Diego Parade of Lights. Come enjoy the twinkling waters of the San Diego Bay with more than 100 private boats decorated with holiday lights. Ripley's Believe It or Not is now open. Come check that out with your own eyes. This is the first time an exhi exhibition has been to San Diego since the California Pacific International Exposition way back in 1935. And if you want some more, on Sunday, December 8th, come check out the Holiday Pet Parade and see the cute little furry creatures take over the streets of the Gassam Quarter. Well, Josh, Aaliyah, hopefully you can come out and take the family and check out more of the events we have locally. I think I'm definitely going to have to check out the Parade of Lights. Yeah. <laughs> and coming up, millions of Americans are battling the bitter cold. Ada Schmidt will have all the details after the break. Excuse me. Well, hello. Hi. My internet connection's acting up. Do you know anything about hot spots? You know, if you angle yourself 45 degrees to the north, your computer's Wi-Fi card will uh, extrapolate the router signal more efficiently. Hit enter. It's going to come up with a dialog box. Guys, from Tennessee to Texas, people all over the U.S. are dealing with freezing slushy mess. Ada is here to tell us all about it. Ada, what do yes, we got going on? Yes, indeed they are. And in fact, millions of people are battling the dangerously bitter cold all over the U.S. this weekend. In this potentially catastrophic ice storm, it's blanketed our nation's uh, midsection practically overnight. Tennessee, Oklahoma, and Arkansas officials have all declared a state of emergency due to large-scale power outages and treacherous roadways. The icy mixture of snow, sleet, and freezing rain has caused multiple rollovers and vehicle pileups. The National Weather Service says that this massive Arctic air mass is dropping temperatures 10 to 30 degrees below normal for this time of the year, and temperatures are expected to stay below freezing for many days. This could be one of the worst ice storms to hit the region since 1994, which caused over $3 billion in damage. 
Now, we are very lucky to live here in San Diego because currently at the airport we have 55 degrees, humidity is at 55%, and we have a nice easy breeze of eight miles per hour coming from the southwest. Sunrise was at 6.37 this morning, sunset was at 4.42, and surf is two to three feet. Basically, looking at our current temperatures, for today, we had 61 in Oceanside, 46 was the low. Julian was pretty chilly. We had 54, and the cold tonight's going to be 30. Downtown, 61, 52 is going to be the low, so make sure you're bundling up if you're going out tonight. And then just taking a look at our national Doppler map, you can see right here this ice storm that we were talking about. It's really chilly. This is basically your mixture of ice and snow. Rain, that slushy sleet, it's really hard to drive, so if you're flying out there, be really careful. Let's go ahead and take a look. This is tonight's temperatures. Also a little chilly, so if you're going out tonight, if you're going to be at Balboa Park, make sure you're wrapping up. Let's go ahead and see what we are doing in our coast. Basically, we have partly cloudy. It's going to be a high of 61, a low of 46. Inland, the high is 61, the low is 52. In the mountains, it's going to be a high of 45. Our low in the mountains is going to be a very chilly 30 degrees, so be careful if you're up there at Julian. You look for a little bit of uh, slushy rain. And in the desert, the high is 58, and the low is going to be 34. So as I had mentioned earlier, you guys, if you are gonna be taking advantage of all these amazing events we have going on for the holidays around town, bring your scarf, bring your hat, make sure that you're bundling up, especially if you have children or pets that you're bringing. Keep them warm. Exactly. I'm going to be going back to Illinois, so I will be very warm. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm staying here, but I'll still bundle up. That's going to do it for this edition of News Scene. I'm Aliyah Bora. And I'm Joshua Lipton, guys. Thank you for joining us. Have a great Friday.